All right, we're in the Frederick Node book. Excuse my hand there, sorry about that. Uh, exercises 15, 16, and 17, I do believe. Yes, yes. Okay, so starting with 15, we're starting on, a, on an upbeat on beat three because we're in three, four. We're working on notes on string six and five, and then all the other goodies, uh, which we already know. You'll see that there's some finger fingering markings, these tiny little numbers, three and zero, down in the third line and the fifth line. Okay, so finger number three, your ring finger, of course, finger number two, and then of course zero just means open string. But let's see what this melody sounds like. One, two, three, 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 and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, rest, rest, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, rest, rest, three. And why just a half note at the end? Because that's only two beats, right? Tied to the, the dotted half note because the missing, yeah, the missing beat, which would be six beats at the end, uh, is at the beginning of the song, that pickup beat. So that's a rule in music. It's an old rule, but it's a rule. Um, you have to take the incomplete measure and make it complete at the end of the song. Um, things to watch out for, counting, of course, especially like in measure, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, where it goes, uh, bum, 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 bum. so there's a half note and a quarter note, then a quarter note and a half note, so the, the rhythm is, bum, 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 that's really tricky there, and, uh, mind your rest, right? Either stop it with your left hand or stop it with your right hand by touching the string you just played. All right. And use the correct fingerings. Finger three, where it says three, finger two. That, that's to facilitate a smoother transition between strings. So you're not going ba, 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 ba. Instead you go da, da, instead of da, 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 da. You want to hear that legato, smooth sound. Okay, so that's all the watch in exercise 15. Let's move on to exercise 16. Uh, we have some ties I see here, right? Tying the two notes together. So the value of the two notes tied, you add together. So in the example, C, D, E, F, E, D, C, you just hold on to that note that's tied. Um, uh, through the next note, you know, the two notes that are tied, you go F, two beats of F instead of, you don't play that note twice. You don't go F, F, you go F, E, D, C. Uh, the two notes that are tied are now one note. So that's like a big fat half note F instead of two quarter note Fs. But you have to do that because you can only have four beats in a measure in this song. So you have to use a tie if you want um, a longer note at the end of that measure. So here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four, rest. Two, three, four, rest. Two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Hold it, two, three, four, rest. Two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, and four, one, two, three, four, one, two, two, and three, and two, three, four, one. 
And again, at the end of the song, they put the missing beat to make up for the incomplete measure at the beginning. Wow, you're going to have to count, count, count in this song. Um, break it up into phrases like uh, rest, two, three, four, tie, da, 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 two, three, four, maybe that. That's a weird... Yeah, maybe the first line, you know, practice the first line, get that right. Then the next line, add the two together. Then the next line, add three together, and then so on. Um, again, watch your um, your finger markings. Finger one, finger three. I like to use my pinky on fret three, but they say use finger three, so you might do that just because they said so. Uh... Yeah, a lot of counting with those ties, all right? A lot of counting. That that one tie at the end of the second line, one, two, three, four, one. Two, you can't even let the, you can't, the, the note won't ring for eight beats unless you're going real fast. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, da, 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 da. I, but you're not gonna play the song like that, so just let the ring note as long as it can uh, for those eight beats. And use the, the little, um, exercise at the top of the page to help with ties too. That's a good little example. The uh, C D E F da da da. One two three four. One two three four. And see if you can stay right on the beat with that tie. Uh, sharps and flats. Oh my. Um, exercise seventeen has a flat in it. Dear dear dear. And some sharps. So. Let's play through it and then we'll talk about all that stuff. So starting on beat four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one. That's a nice little melody and the sharps and flats help make it a little more interesting than it would be otherwise. Um, watch your finger numbers. One, two, three, four. I don't think they use the pinky in this one now. Okay, so the flat looks like a, a tiny lowercase b. When you put that next to a note, it means you go one fret that way. So a B flat, how do you flat open string? That's a B, right? Where that the, the the fifth note in is a B, but it's a B flat. You can't play a note to the left of, because flat is that way. The, the pitch goes down as you go to the left. But here's the thing. String three fret four sounds the same as string two open. Oops. So you can flat that. There's your B flat right there. String three fret three. B flat. Uh, there's another one, fourth note in line two. Same note, B flat. Uh, let's go to line three. There's a sharp. Now, F, it looks like a hashtag, the sharp thing, a number sign or hashtag. Uh, F is usually this, right? But sharp is this way. To the right, the pitch goes up as we go to the right on the guitar. So F, F sharp. So sharp means go, pitch goes up. Flat means pitch goes down. All right, F, F sharp. So play F sharp. So G, F sharp, F natural. That's what that little sign is. The next sign on the third note in line three. Natural cancels out the sharp. So F sharp, cancel out the sharp. F natural, pretty cool stuff. Go to line four. You got your B flat, fourth note in. The sixth note in is A flat, so here's your A, string three fret two, A flat. The pitch is going down as we go to the left. That's why there's a little one next to that note, A flat, string three fret one. And that's it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, shoot them over to me in the email and we'll hook you up. 
Okay, have fun, practice hard, and hit me with any questions anytime. Thanks for watching.